We do indeed, everyone. I'm just keeping my voice down because this is such a wonderful sighting of a genet. Now, I found this genet the other day in this tree and it seems like this is the home of the genet. And I'm so, so happy that we got to see it. They're usually very, very shy. And look at that beautiful hole that it's got itself into. And um, to spend the day there and then come out at night. They are generally nocturnal. And just another welcome to the Rocking Edutech Conference. Lovely to have you with us. Don't forget to send us your questions. Now these genets, they look cat-like, but they're not actually related to cats at all. They're in another family called Viveridae. And um, it's wonderful to see this little one. I can't believe that it might actually be getting used to us slightly because um, the first time we saw it, it heard us arrive and ran up into the center of this tree and hid away from us. But now it's sticking its face out every now and then, which is wonderful. And they are so cute. They really, really are wonderful little creatures. And as I said, it's lovely to see one now during the day because they generally are nocturnal so they only come out at night but very 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 cute I'm so glad that's that's just made my afternoon I was getting worried there for a second we weren't finding too much <laughs> there we got the baboons now let me show you a picture quickly of this little genet Katie, good afternoon to you. You asked if um, if I've ever felt in danger. No, Katie, um, not at all. Uh, you know, we've been uh, a lot of us, especially the guides, been working in the bush for for quite a long time, and um, and no, there's no reason to feel in danger at all. We are very very careful, obviously, while we are out in the bush, and we're very respectful of the animals. But there's no reason to feel in danger. And I haven't. No, I just wanted to show you a picture of this genet. Um, that's what the little genet looks like. Isn't that beautiful? We could see that face clearly earlier with him looking at us through the hole. Very, very beautiful. Now we have small spotted genet and large spotted genet. Now I'm not too sure. It's difficult to see this one but I think it's a large spotted genet. Bri Bri you asked what is a genet's favorite food? Well uh, let's uh, see what they say here but uh, the food uh, it's mainly insects um, it's uh, invertebrates insects and then they've also got sometimes rodents and reptiles Bri Bri too they might eat that birds I know genets will occasionally try and raid nests maybe little birds um, Oh, but they eat. Uh, they also eat uh, fruits, some fruit that they can find, probably like the marulas or jackalberries, anything like that. So they'll f they'll be feeding on a few of those, those uh, well, quite a large v um, variety of food in their diet. Let's see if it's still sitting there. Is it still there? It is still there. It hasn't moved yet. Just in there. It's a bit dark in that hole now. And there you can see the spots very clearly of the coat. Let's see if it sticks its head out again. Come on, have a look at at us, please. Will it? No. You can see it moving clearly in there. Have a look. Uh, there we go. There we go. There's the eye. Oh. <laughs> Did you see how quickly it shot up into the tree chastity you asked is there only one genet in there or is there family i'm not sure chastity i'm not sure there could possibly be one or two more in there I'm not, i don't know however however i think this genet is alone i think this is one by itself i don't think there are any others in there but um, it looks like it's just moved off up into the tree just a little bit high up so it obviously is feeling a bit shy now we've spent enough time with it that was really great. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy we got to see its face. I decided to have a good look at us. Um, 
That was a wonderful surprise, wasn't it? Now, we're going to carry on and see what else we can find. I'm feeling a lot happier and a lot, uh, a lot more confident that we'll find something this afternoon, a lot more, hopefully.